in the studio, we have uh, both the paper cup band from Minneapolis and the director from Living Arrangements, which is showing tomorrow night at Miramar Theater, where there's two screenings, 7 and 9 p.m. Uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, my name is Sam Thompson. I'm uh, the director of Living Arrangements. Uh, we're in town from Minneapolis and showing it tomorrow at the Miramar Theater with live music via these guys, Paper Cup Band. And um, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, it's a dark satire film about a vegan couple who move into a new apartment and find a werewolf living in their attic. <laughs> um, uh, it gets... Uh, a, a little funny at times, uh, a little scary in times, and uh, overall it's very entertaining, and uh, we will have free prizes. And is your first crack at a film? Um, yes, this is my first feature. And uh, how, how long did it take you to make it? Um, <clears throat> from uh, beginning uh, production to uh, having our world premiere in uh, Minneapolis was nine months. That's not bad. Yeah, and that was uh, in uh, mid-March of this year, so... Uh, we played our first official film festival, uh, the Flyway Film Festival in Pepin, Wisconsin, uh, late October. So we're really just uh, starting to move it around. It's really just starting to get some legs. Much like a band, you're just getting it out on the road right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I imagine shoestring budget. Uh, yes, yeah. we, uh, we just pay for everything ourselves. and uh, But we, you know, I feel like I uh, did a good job uh, making it look like there's, uh, there's a lot more money behind it. Yeah. <laughs> Looks aside, uh, again, it's entertaining. Uh, every scene moves the, f the story along, and we were just talking at uh, UWM about it, and I think that's what we're most proud of. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Sure. It's Thank not you. easy uh, making a film and getting it getting out in, into the world. So. No, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of what they say. You make, you make the film, you finish the film, you're halfway there because uh, the real hard part is getting people to see it. So come on out. And what have been the early reactions, you, whether it be press or just people coming to see the, the screenings of the films? Um, uh, I'd say like entirely positive. Uh, we had our, our world premiere in Minneapolis. We had about 500 people come out, which wow. is a pretty big turnout for for a film yeah um and we've showed it again in minneapolis and sold out of a smaller venue um we've gotten a uh, good good press uh i think uh the star tribune in minneapolis gave it three out of four stars um uh we haven't been into too many film festivals yeah. uh but tell, tell me about the music because I, I know paper cup bands in it as well but there's other uh, mark malman, mark malman yeah. yeah he's from milwaukee i guess Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's from Milwaukee, I yeah. guess, too. Um, our roommate, Sleeping in the Aviary, they had a track. Best Friends Forever. Um, just uh, mostly Minneapolis. Yeah, just uh, a, lot of, a lot of Minneapolis bands. And uh, the, the characters, again, are kind of a vegan, uh, hipster, pacifist kind of... Uh, um, in many ways, I was, I was using, you know, bands that I know, and then I also was thinking of, of bands that the main characters would probably listen to. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Mark Mullen did uh, original music for it, um, and and these guys have a few tracks on there, actually, or two tracks, I believe. Yeah, two tracks. Um, yeah, yeah, it was really, it's. It, I was really happy to, we kind of just put it together at the Miramar, and I've, I mean, I used to live in Milwaukee, and the Miramar was like the place, you know, I've seen like Low there. I used to go see this comedy improv thing when I was first got a license called the Dead Ale Wives. That was, yeah, I remember that. That was, <laughs> it was awesome. That was good stuff. And that was like what I'd do when I first got my license in like February. It would be snowing like crazy and I'd come down to the east side to see like the Dead Ale Wives by myself. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was fun. Let's talk about the band for a quick minute. Um, this show every Wednesday alternates between alternative farm rock and city rock showgrams. So, Naturally, your album is absolutely perfect, titled Detroit vs. Farming. Um, <laughs> it's, it's kind of like your theme now, Richard. You have to play it every week. But uh, tell me about the album. Tell me uh, uh, lyrically, sonically, what, what's it all about? Um, I guess mostly it's just some of it is pretty silly. Some of it's pretty serious. It's kind of all over the place. And that was kind of, that was the point, basically, was just to have... Our first album, Midwestern Post Sarcastic, was very um, mostly folk influenced, and um, Kyle's really good at recording. Our roommates are really good at recording, and it was sort of what can we do to really break it out of that normal acoustic dude with the guitar? And like he was drumming on a, Kyle was drumming on a, um, like a suitcase and would never even use sticks, it was only his hands, so it was pretty shoestring. Um, but yeah, it was basically just, that versus like you know 
Pro Tools and like the computer and kind of putting them together. And in the end, lyrically, some of it was just kind of about, you know, post industrialism and just like, you know, recession <laughs> and stuff like that. Timely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it works perfect with, uh, with a film too. Yeah. I feel like uh, the werewolf in the attic is uh, very metaphorical for the times we're in now. Yeah. yeah. It's tumultuous. <laughs> well, let's play a track off uh, the Paper Cup Band uh, album, Detroit vs. Farming. We're going to hear a track called Drunks and Poets, and uh, Rich is going to be back with you after we uh, hear this track, and the band's going to play a couple quieter acoustic numbers here uh, in the studio. We don't have a suitcase, I don't see, but I'm sure uh, we'll find something else to bang on, so it's not so dude with a guitar yeah. <laughs> All right, here's a Paper Cup Band track called drunks and poets off the album detroit verse farming and again they're in town because tomorrow night they're playing uh before and after sets correct yeah uh for the film that is screening at miramar theater called living arrangements we have the director here uh told you about the movie and uh without further ado here's a track from that album 